let's talk about copying a list. So I'm going to just make a list. We'll throw some things into here. Uh, I'll just do numbers. And I want to show you that if I take that list and I assign it to another name, I'll go ahead and print both of these. And I don't think we'll be too surprised about what we see here. They have the same values, 1 through 6. If I look at the ID of both of these, what we're going to see is the same ID. That means that these two names are referencing the same object. And if I change something in list 2, let's say I change the third element, or the, uh, sorry, the fourth element, and I change that to, I'll just make it changed. These IDs are still the same which implies that these are both changed, right? So even though I have this assignment here, I'm not making a distinct copy of the original list. If I want to make a distinct copy, there are a couple ways to do this. I can do copy. And now, if I run this, notice list 1 has not been changed. But list 2 has. And that's important. That's going to come up. The other thing, the other way I can do this, is by just slicing everything, right? So I'm taking a slice from uh, 0 to the length of the list. And I don't have to explicitly put that in. And uh, I just, I'm putting this in here because some people use this, uh, this syntax. I use this syntax. I usually don't do dot copy. But it is effectively the same thing. So this will create two distinct lists, and we can verify that with ID. Right? Those are two different IDs. Now, something to keep in mind. If you have a function, and I'll just make this function called mod list, and it's going to take in a list. And what it's going to do is change the third element, or the index three element, to changed. And let's just go ahead and return that list. So this is a bad practice. And it's a bad practice because what we're doing here is we are, we are modifying the parameter. We're doing that on line 2. We don't want to modify parameters passed into a function in general. There are times where we do, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, in this case, we just want to make a copy. So list2 is going to get that parameter and will change list2 and return list2. And uh, if I call this, um, well, let's make list. And I'll just do a list list of a range to 10. And we'll go ahead and print the modification of that list. And we can see that that's working. If I assign this to list and I print the IDs of these, so I'm going to go ahead and print the ID of list. And it turns out those are the same. Oh no, they're different. Oh good. <laughs> I was about to say I don't know what's happening anymore in Python. Um, but notice they have, uh, they have different hashes. So um, this is just to show that there is a general best practice. This isn't always going to be the case. But the general best practice is when you define a parameter, you don't want to modify that parameter 
within your function. Instead, you're going to make a copy of the parameter as we're doing here, right? We're making a copy of LST, putting it into LST2, and then we're going to modify LST2 and return that. 